Hey folks, it's Hat and Glasses from Volcano Tips here today, and I want to show you how you can rebuild your easy valve chamber if it breaks. One of the great things about the Volcano and Stores and Bickle products is you can pretty much buy any part to replace and fix it yourself. So in this example, our chamber, and this thing's like probably eight years old, finally broke, fell off the coffee table, and this little plastic leg chipped off. It still works just fine, but it kind of bothers me that it's not perfect. So I decided I'd buy the parts and I would rehabilitate this easy valve chamber and make it like new again. So I bought a new easy valve chamber housing, which is the black plastic on the outside. And it comes with both pieces. So you have to buy the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna replace both so everything's brand new. And then I also bought the rebuild kit that gives me new screens, new O-rings, and these new spring clips that hold the chamber in place on top of the volcano. So all these parts combined with my existing easy valve will have a brand new chamber ready to go that'll probably last me another eight years. So I'll put the new parts aside and I'll break this down and take it apart for you. So we twist the two pieces apart, take the O-ring off the top, and then I just simply push this and it comes right out. So that's a piece I'm gonna save. This piece I'll save because it's still good, but you know, it's kind of dirty, so I'm gonna replace it with a new one. Now on the bottom here, same thing. I'm gonna push from the bottom and that whole insert will pop right out. And then you'll see the spring clips will just naturally drop out of the bottom because there's nothing holding them in anymore. And I mean, there's no advantage to me taking them out, but sometimes they do get stuck in here. And you can see this chamber um, has a lot of like gunked up uh, cannabis dust inside it. So it's probably a good thing that I'm refreshing this and um, getting it to be brand new. Um, if I had not ordered the full rebuild kit, I could uh, get a screwdriver and pop these guys out. Oh look, I got one out. So you can save these clips and reuse them. Um, sometimes they do lose a little of their spring and they don't attach as tightly. And there's the third one. So at least now I can recycle these separately from the plastic. So now I have my um, reusable components from the original chamber ready to go. I'm going to treat myself to a new O-ring, so I'm going to discard that. So I'll open up my rebuild kit here. Um, they actually call it the wear and tear kit. So one thing that's nice is it's always good to have one of these brushes. So I'll take the time and just kind of brush some of the dust that's gotten into this chamber off of here. And then while I'm at it, I'll probably replace this screen with a nice fresh one. So this works perfectly to just simply pop it right out. And I can see that this one, while it was still functional, it started to get a little dirty. And uh, the more resistance the volcano has when it's trying to push the air through, the less efficient it's going to be. So you want to keep your top screen clean all the time. The bottom screen really doesn't get that gunked up. You'll probably change this three times more often than you change the bottom. So in my kit here, I'll have my new O-ring. Got a couple of screens. I'm gonna need one for the top. And then I'm gonna need three new spring clips to install my chamber. There's one, two, and three. In your wear and tear kit, they will also give you liquid pads. If you've read anything I've written about concentrates in the volcano, you'll know I don't think these things are worth a damn and I don't use them. Um, but if you're into that sort of thing, this will allow you to vaporize concentrates in your volcano. I just think there's a lot better ways to do that. But if you're in a pinch, that's the way to go. And then I've got a bunch of extra screens here for when I need them and a bunch of extra O-rings for when that inevitably falls off and rolls behind the couch. So, now I am ready to put this thing back together, clean up a little bit of this mess here, and let's start with the top, because that's the easiest. I'm just going to take this insert, I'm going to insert it into here, <laughs> pun intended, click it into place, and it's ready to go. O-ring goes over the top, sits in that groove, and then I can take my new screen and gently push it into place 
and seat it properly. And we're done with the top. Now the bottom is a little trickier because what we need to do is we need to get these um, spring clips situated. So there's three legs on the chamber housing. Each one fits in to one of these slots within the leg. So you'll see there's this little piece on the spring that comes off at a right angle. That piece slides into these little slots on these legs. So if I drop it in there and push that piece into that slot, it'll sit there. But as I go around, it'll fall off. So the challenge is to get all three of these in, keep them balanced, and then pop the chamber in. So you wanna keep this thing pretty close to upright so none of them are falling out. And as I said that, two of them have fallen out into my hand. So this three minute video may become 10 as you watch me struggle here, but we're gonna make it happen. Third. Now here's the only trick I do have is that I will turn this insert upside down so I do not have to suffer the indignity of trying to flip this over without the clips falling out in front of you again. So I'm just going to lift this up and drop it down on top of here and push it down until it clicks and that will lock those clips into position. So I'm going to attempt fate and try and show you what's going on here. So now the chamber's in there. It's not fully seated, but it's holding those clips in and it's keeping them under tension. So now I can flip it over and now I can just pop that down and it clips right in. And now these spring clips are fully seated. They're not coming out and they will grip onto the top of a volcano so that when you fill your bag up, you don't have to hold it and keep it from falling off. So now I have a brand new easy valve chamber that I've rebuilt from my existing parts with the help of some spare parts from Stores and Bickle. So that's just one of the great things about the Volcano is that I bought this probably eight years ago and I'm still able to get parts for it and fix it and replace it. And that's pretty cool. So thanks for watching. Hit us up with questions in the comments.